Hello, welcome to Macaroni Meadows. On today's episode, we're going to go to Williston and collect some rocks for Courtney's new rock tumbler. So Courtney got a rock tumbler for Christmas from uh, the big guy. So we're here at uh, Williston Lake. Going to find some rocks for her to chuck in that old tumbler. Get her tumbling. She's a blissfully winter day here today. All suited up. <laughs> She's got a rock bag. Snowing and blowing. Woo. Gotta let Roni Dog out. Come on, Roni Dog. <laughs> oh, she's giving her. Look at her go. Oh, she's bouncing around. Woo. Now, see, there's all kinds of rocks here. I have no idea which ones Courtney's gonna get, but I'm sure she'll pick out some cool ones. Looks like she's finding some pretty cool ones. Collection going already. Oh, she's windy. Cool. There's some really cool rocks way over there, but oh, the wind and snow, I don't think we're gonna make her that far today. She's cold. Courtney all bumbled up in her winter gear. Check it out. She's blowing. Definitely winter here today. Hopefully. The weather's supposed to warm up eventually, but we haven't seen it yet. Oh. Damn. Oh, she found a two toned one. I want that big black one. Oh. Let's see here. Look at that guy. Bet you that'll look cool after it gets tumbled. <laughs> oh, it's snowing and blowing. Real cold. Pretty bad weather to be at Chilly Willy to pick rocks, but... We're nice and warm in the truck. Just gonna sit here, watch the snow come down. Oh, it's beautiful. Even in the cold, I find so much beauty in the, the snowfall. It's nice. Hey, Cordo, you got a few rocks? Anyway, yeah. enough to get it tumbling. <laughs> Sorry, the weather's so shitty. Hey guys, come check it out. I got me a rock tumbler for Christmas. I must have been pretty good this year because I got tons and tons of cool gifts. Uh, I was pretty spoiled. Uh, super excited to use this though. Um, so this rock tumbler here, it came with some like rocks and stuff to tumble. However, I am an avid uh, rock collector, especially lately. And I got these guys from Williston. And I will be using them because I want to see how they shine up and also because I've had them forever and this will be kind of like a, a neat little science project. Uh, so we'll get this going. A couple steps. It looks like it's fairly straightforward. Uh, but yeah, we'll get her tumbling and yeah, we'll touch base and see how things look along the way. So I've got this guy filled about halfway. Um, and then I'm just going to go over here. Throw some step one rock. Ooh, that's pretty. It's actually really pretty. That looks cool. A little razzle dazzle there. And then it looks like I need to fill with water until the water just covers the top of the rocks. So let's go and do that. I'm excited. Let's see how this turns out. Looks to be about right. All right, so I'm gonna bring her on back, and I'm gonna might need two hands for this, guys. I gotta reassemble her. 
so hang tight. Okay, she's all set up. We got her plugged in, and according to instructions, I should set this for about five days for the first phase here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Woo! Look at us go. All right, guys, so we'll stick her in there. We got her tumbling, tumbling on the first uh, set here. And, yeah, we'll check back in about five days. Woo! This thing is so neat. If you have a kid that's into rocks, or if you're like me and you're 32 and you're in ro into rocks, or any age in between, you should totally check this out. It's super easy to put together, and yeah, I can't wait to see what things look like the first step's over. Five days from now, woo! It's been five days, and our first uh, tumble is done. So I'm gonna take it out, and we'll take a quick peek and see what things look like. Uh, for some reason, I thought there was going to be, like, some big grand reveal, and I'd actually kind of, like, get to see the rocks. Um, but, yeah, so the first step is done. Uh, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to put this step two in there. Um, and, yeah, kind of put her back on for five more days, and we'll check in when five days is done. I gave her a little bit of a wipe down just because some of that, uh, like, mud-looking stuff kind of <laughs> made its way out when I topped her up. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put this back on for five more days, um, and then we'll do this. And then yeah, in five more days we'll have the second uh, step completed and then we'll go on from there. I just took these guys out and I, uh, this time I actually washed them up and like took a little peek. I wanted to see how they were coming along. So this is after the second tumble and they're starting to come along. Like I can tell that's an amethyst. Uh, rose quartz, a tiger's eye, and then these ones, too, like, I really like this one and that one. Those ones are just from, like, Williston Lake down the road. So I got them cleaned up. I'm going to essentially, like, repeat step two, um, and we're going to put her back in. And, yeah, but this is how they're looking after the second step. We got her loaded back up. I threw in the step three to polish up the rocks, and it looks like she needs to go back on for another seven days. So let's do that, and then yeah, so we'll, we'll check back in about seven days. Mmm. Good soup. Okay, this is after our third step. So things are actually starting to kind of come along. Um, and then last but not least, I have one last step, which is the shine. That is about seven to ten days. Um, but yeah, this is just a little update to show you what step three looks like. And yeah, this is the concoction goo that comes with it. So stay tuned, we'll touch base in another 10 days. Okay, so if you've stuck with us after 28 very long days, uh, this looks to be the final, uh, the final outcome of our rocks and our rock tumbler. So that's just a look at the water that they've been chilling in for the last little while here. Um, but I'm actually fairly impressed. Like, I think they got tumbled a couple extra days. So some of them are a little bit, uh, a little bit like almost sharp, like this guy here. Um, but they're super cool. We got some really neat ones here. Um, this guy is an amethyst. We got some rose quartz. Um, just some balsit quartz as well. A lot of these just came from Williston. Um, but uh, I ended up too. This guy here is a wishing rock or a wishing stone. So you can see it's two stones that kind of migrated together. And then there's this perfect little line that separates them. So we call that a wishing stone or a wishing rock. Um, but yeah, these are kind of how things turned out. I used um, my, uh, I have an app on my phone that I use to identify crystals and rocks. It's super handy. It's just called My Rock Identifier. Um, and yeah, for the most part, these are all super duper common. I do really like how this uh, tiger's eye turned out though. He's kind of flat and goofy looking, but he's kind of cool because he's got that little a little shape kind of in them. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys, keep you in the loop. This is how things kind of turned out. Um, again, the last tumble, I think, went a couple extra days. But other than that, that's kind of what to expect after all said and done, your 28 days worth of tumbling. Yeah, if you, uh, yeah, if you're into rocks, I would definitely suggest getting a tumbler. Uh, definitely takes a little while, but the outcome is really worth it. And it feels kind of cool to see, you know, to see what happens when it's all said and done. All right, guys, have a great day, and I hope you like this video.